uh, satisfy the invitation. It's a great pleasure to speak at this uh, workshop. Uh, I'm very confident that I will give the most elementary uh, talk at this workshop. And the topic is the slow decay. Uh, a real state stress. And as I said, it's, it will be a very, very elementary uh, construction. And I will explain it. And this is the joint walk with So the Sonia conjecture. So it says if the topologic system has zero topological entropy, then uh, for all F continuous function and for all X in the system, there is no correlation between the observable along the orbit of X uh, with F uh, with the Mobius sequence. And this is that's a conjecture and uh, the topological entropy roughly speaking it has a <coughs> exponential growth rate of the uh, number of patterns uh, of uh, of uh, uh, trajectories Growth rate. <clears throat> of the number of different trajectories of uh, n steps of this n up to uh, error epsilon between two uh, two trajectories. Okay, so the, uh, zero entropy means sub exponential growth. And uh, critical is the word uh, sub exponential. Let me first mention that uh, result of um, myself and the year said that uh, if the growth right here is a polynomial instead of the exponential, then, then uh, the distance is true. If every delta x, the system xt has uh, the so called measure complexity, says. Uh, Similar as that number, so that, that number is let's call it n epsilon n. This number is n epsilon n, but it's, this is like, but with a little bit more flexibility. If the measure of complexity has growth. This cell uh, equal to uh, so corresponded by capital M to a delta, but this is for every every delta. So this is really simple exponential, slower than every poly, uh, every possible polynomial with arbitrarily small exponent. 
then our and some X conjecture holds for this system. So uh, in particular, if this, this number grows less than or equal to uh, at that rate, then measure complexity grows uh, slower than that rate. Okay. So our sub polynomial is enough. And uh, the result of Okinamara counts our uh, growth rate in the Felsenberg system of the uh, uh, UV function system of lambda n has a growth rate equal to uh, n squared and the log average sine conjecture holds yes uh, the entropy grows is sub quadratic. Okay. So that that's. That's one side of the of the story. On the other side, um, <clears throat> maybe let me tell you about a family of particular maps first. Uh, Screw out the maps. T. These are maps on the two torus. Which has uh, zero entropy. So a sequence of works which I think ended with a paper by the Fabry says that if H is C1 plus epsilon, then Sonia can just holds for that. And a uh, recent breakthrough by uh, Kanigoski, Imanchik, and Razibuel. I don't want to talk about this. It states that the prime number theorem holds yes, H is real analytic and T is uniquely ergodic in, in that class. But may fail. If H is not as smooth, it should only C0. Uh, and here, prime number theorem means uh, the average allow the prime orbit and uh, allow the integer orbit. These two averages are asymptotic. So this is the hint for the following question. So because the prime number theory is about the Van der Merkel function, that is does the average Uh, 
uh, along the integer orbit correlated with the uh, Mobius function 10 to 0 fast enough. So we just fast. Let's say bounded by a uh, right? And uh, given that failure, uh, probably not. Given the uh, Kanyagoski pneumatic residual result. And another uh, evidence of a similar flavor. Which was also produced by uh, Kanigowski the much and Reservoir and independent by the industry. Assuming zero topological entropy but not guarantee the non correlation, the destroyness along a sparse sequence of polynomial density. If the sampling is uh, along uh, n squared, then this is. It's not guaranteed that it would get to it. <coughs> so the answer to that question is no. To the what I'm going to present now. That if you give me a rate. Then there exists a system that depends on the rate function tau, and there exists um, T continuous map continuous diagram system, and there exists uh, G uh, observable on uh, this system such that. Uh, the following properties. First, uh, it has a system of zero entropy. Second, it does satisfy some X conjecture. But it fails uh, some X conjecture at with tau n. So you should not expect it to uh, decay as fast as tau n in, in that uh, correlation. So for this last sentence, that's just what I mean. If um, yeah. uh, for all sequence A N with N soup. This um, the 
this is just to guarantee that we are not simply in the, the sequence zero. So this is uh, to replace the Mobius sequence of the UBO sequence. Then uh, the Lim soup. Along an orbit inside the dynamic system here, correlates with AM. Doesn't does not correlate with AM, but correlates very very slowly. Uh, uh, this is twice. So that 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 so what's in the bracket does tend to tend to zero, but it tends to zero slower than than tau of n. Um, yeah, so this is much stronger than what is written. Um, it's more than this. No, I said it's more than this. I said I think <laughs> it's uh yeah it's uh. It's uniform inside this, this system, and yeah. So I guess what you are, you are saying that the system only depends on tau, and it's allowed to sample every uniformly for every sequence AM. But, but I also wish to remark that you see that there are no numbers area at all here, and all is used. To, so it's pure combinatorics. Sorry, I can't see the board above there. Is is uh, your system uniquely a godding? Uh, I don't think so. At least we did not try. Probably not. Yeah. No, right. well, so, uh, why is it clear that we cannot take T in irrational rotation and F continues but crazy? Irrational rotation with F can, I, I think essentially it's something like that, but we are doing it in a more, more symbolic way. Okay. Yeah, probably, probably that, yeah, if we do it very carefully, it's possible that yeah, this can be pr produced. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, no, not symbolic rotation. A screw product like that. In, uh, a screw product like that. No, but just a, a irrational rotation on the circle. Irrational rotation on the circle. I, I, I'm not sure because the correlation, as you will see later, is going to be a slowdown of the Bernoulli system. As irrational rotations are not Bernoulli enough. At least. Yes, but if F is uh, an arbitrary continuous function, nothing about the Lipschitz constants. I don't see any reason why you would have some uh, uh, translate, I mean, some growth condition. Anyway, uh, that's possible. Yeah, I can ask you. Okay. Um, and uh, two remarks. One well, is certain uh, prime. That in that uh, similar true with log average. So if we replace uh, Sinex conjecture with log average of Sinex here, yeah, we'll say it. And the second remark is that um, Uh, Serum by Abdallah The Kunaga Prisms. The Machik and the Dukri. So it's that uh, if Sinex conjecture is true, then um, for any given T with zero entropy. Um, conjecture true uniformly within this particular system for all T 
So that is to say, uh, you cannot expect this system here to be independent of tau. And, uh, so this implies the following. Conjecturally, system X of tau must be dependent of the range of tau. So that's our result. Any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Is anything known typically? Uh, so say you draw G, your continuous function, uh, mm -hmm. just sort of randomly. Do we know anything about what to expect about correlation speed? I, I think if it's randomly that probably you will have a random correlation, a uh, more ID of a newly like mm -hmm. correlation, which is, which is, <laughs> yeah, which can be, so, yeah, which, yeah, which can be, yeah. Which can, it's yeah. randomly topologically, the typical continuous function is no more differentiable. Maybe you don't expect good rate. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's my question is, do we expect a good rate or do we expect a, a bad rate, sort of a slow rate like this? For a typical continuous function. So I'm afraid, especially due to Nikos's remarks, which I think very convincing, if it is typicality of topological nature, then maybe bad. But if it's a measure theoretical nature, it's different typicality, mm -hmm. then maybe it will be good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that question. Yeah, I think it should be yeah, should be slow. Yeah. Uh, this is this is for every, but this is yeah, for every A of M. So you have such a point. Uh, and I have another question too, um, regarding the measure complexity bound. Mm -hmm. Does that tell you anything about rates? Uh, so for example, if you assume a sub polynomial complexity, measure complexity bound, like you talked about over here in this result, uh, uh, does that tell you that you also have good rates over here? Yeah, I think, yes. Yeah, smooth. Less, smooth. Less smooth. Yeah, I, I think you, yeah, you may have some good rates. Yes. So let me just, I think it's interesting, to, uh, just to make sure that you confirm it. So if you uh, assume some rate less smoothness, mm -hmm. then you can maybe estimate the rate in the Cernac conjecture. I, yeah, so yeah, the, the, rate is, the rate is essentially going to be a rate coming from uh, MRT, from mathematical rate real time. So it's, uh, yes, yes. If it is explicit, it will be decomposing to uh, many many orbits that mimics uh, MRT, and as long as you have a rate of MRT, you have. But so, this is important. Smooth smooth. The the complexity has no smoothness, in it. so it's just complexity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoothness kind of implies complexity, and then go, goes through. Yeah, yeah. 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 yes. That goes. Um. So uh, now let me tell you about the uh, better elementary construction. What we want is that the system <coughs> that correlates <coughs> with every possible sequence A of M at a discount. So it does not really violate, but oh, okay. 
and what we know is there is a system that correlates with every A of N. Um, the Bernoulli system. With every, correlates with every uh, A of N. Um, so the Bernoulli system here just, so in this case, it's a, it's a shift on this uh, infinite power. And what to do is to slow down the Bernoulli system. Slow down the Bernoulli. Um, and uh, we um, says uh, this is a strategy that that has been used in in many similar forms. But uh, let me say that uh, when we wrote this paper, we were in particularly inspired by by recent work of uh, Dogo Piat. Don Kanigowski and uh, Nandori. So what they did was a uh, smooth zero entropy system with a central limit theorem. And for now, our uh, So, sorry, what's wrong with um, horocycle flows in this respect? What's wrong with horocycle flows? Uh, I mean, what do you mean by central limit theorem? I mean, uh, the horocycle flow has uh, has a lot of uh, randomness to it. That's right. Uh, I'm just not expert. I, I I'm not. I don't know about the CLT, but well, they have paper on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now our construction for now. There's a, um, going to be a screw product system like earlier. We're going to have a system from XY to XY where uh, both X and Y will be essentially Bernoulli. X will be assessed, both will be uh, subshifts inside Bernoulli. Why will be completely Bernoulli? Um, why is Bernoulli? And uh, this is um, going to be since Y has the just 
זה מה שאפשר לנו ליסט, אין זה עצמי או פי. סגמה. So it's going to be a shift on X and on Y, it will be a shift, but how many steps you shift on X? In particular, I will allow to shift backwards. And for this to have zero entropy, we need first, The entropy of X is zero because it is a base dynamic system. And we will need uh, the shift to uh, explore Y slowly. Um, And you can check that if you uh, iterate that by n steps. It shifts x by n steps, and it shifts on y by the following. So, By explore y slowly, we mean that this is, and since this is just, uh, so the, the function beta will be just, just take beta of x is x zero. So, so x is, <laughs> um, x, this is being minus one zero one. That yeah, and both 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 are both are like the way both of them are doing this, and uh, in order for this to be slow, I just need this to grow slowly to uh, to be little o over there. And how can we do that? Let's fix a uh, sequence of uh, integers, q1, q2, etc. And you should think of these as the dependent approximates. Such that qk plus one is much bigger than qk. Then um, inside the app, the slide wall from 2K to 2K plus one, we will let X to look like this. Some zeros. It's, it's going to be a very, very sparse sequence. Now at some point, the ones will get replaced by that your list. And the period of each block is, uh, is QK. And here, the much bigger than, this will depend on, as we'll see later, on the target rate tau, which is prescribed the activity. And while doing this, we uh, require a few uh, things. So you see that this is now the sequence axis model is fixed, but we also allow this truncation between QK and QK plus one to be shifted by some number C <coughs> between uh, in zero to QK. So, 
So there's some freedom in shifting this whole picture a little bit by finite amount. And uh, we will require the number of ones and the number of natural ones to be equal. And let's say roughly qk plus one divided by qk, maybe uh, half of qk plus one. So after doing this, that, uh, that sum the sum here, this graph between QK and QK plus one is going to look like a tent and it will come back to zero. And the height of the tent is QK plus one divided by QK, uh, divided by two QK, which is O, little O of half of QK plus one. And we will require this, this little O to be, to be tall. <coughs> so by, by, by allowing QK plus one to be much bigger than, than QK. Um, So because of this, after exploring uh, in the entire system with roughly QK plus one steps, you have only explored the Y exponent with so many steps. So that is sub exponential and have zero entry in the in the fibers. And then we will and then in the in, in the base it also has zero entropy because in the base we only count such very very fast sequences. And there are not so many patterns. And the growth of such patterns, the number of the growth of the number of such patterns is also sub exponential. This will tell us that that's uh, by by this let this let's call it CK. So uh, take all possible. case okay, take all access with possible C case and uh, let X be their orbit closure um, then um, Then the conditions they are true. That if top x cross y sigma cross sigma. Uh, and because of the control of this, you can uh, check the, the the complexity. The complexity is actually a simple polynomial. So it satisfies the, the, the standard conjecture by, by the criterion that I mentioned earlier. Um, and uh, sorry. No. Okay, no, 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 not, not the capacity is before another. Okay, by, by another criterion in that paper. So that's so the the organic components are of uh, they are, are of a discrete uh, spectrum. So, so, but anyway, you can you can check using uh, uh, using the MRT criterion, uh, the MRT uh, 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 the, the decay that this indeed satisfies the next connection. Even in fairness and so on the X, you don't control what the measures, what the invariant measures are, but you're saying the, 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 the invariant measures are eventually going to be zero actually. So. So, so, so it's going to the delta mass, oh. right? So, because there are always so many, but, but of course you can explore different things in, in the fibers. So in the fibers, it's clear, but they are all very slow. Okay. Um, now, 
what we need. Correlation with your favorite AF is bigger than or equal to tau. And for, sim for simplicity, let me just pretend here that AM is always the plus or minus one value. So <laughs> the self correlation of AM is going to be one. And what I want to do is to uh, extract this information from, uh, for, from AM itself. Uh, so along the fiber, I will going to, to make the reading in Y to mimic the AM. But the problem is that the, the reading in Y is going to be very, very slow, and AM may, may flip in each step. So AM has high complexity, but the reading Y has low complexity. And how, how, how to make the slow one catch up with the fast one? Um, so what we can read from the system? Mm -hmm. Maybe that system. Yes. X is shifted by C on equal QK, QK plus one. So remember that at, at the beginning, so, so here there must be Q minus one zeros, but the number of these zeros I can shift in, I have some freedom here. And the, the, the fiber vector Y, we are going to, Make it Q K times J plus B. So C and J, C, B and C are now parameters. Okay, so this is also on. Okay. Yes. So this is A of this. If we do this, then the correlation. On this equal so I, I'm only counting up to here up to the, to the ones is going to be which we will denote by a sub BC that's expectation over n of a times Q and minus C divided by Q times A of N. And if you realize this number is as J, it will be the average over some interval. J is more or less the same interval divided by Q. A times QJ plus B and QJ plus C. And the B and the C are two parameters to, to choose. Okay. And, but here, uh, oh, sorry, this QJ is R because R. And, uh, and here, R is, uh, R is between C minus Q plus one and a C. So uh, I is a, a full interval of, uh, of residue. Uh, but uh, then this, this. Uh, can I ask? Yeah. Did you uh, did you say what the continuous function g that you're using is? Is that just reading off the first coordinate or what? Yeah, yeah the g is just reading off the first coordinate. Okay, thanks. Sorry. Thank yeah, that, 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 that's also part of the point of this uh, this construction. To fix the g, it's it's always for the same g, not to change the g depending. And, but the point X that you're going to choose here is depending on uh, B and a C. I uh, to be X and X depends on C and Y depends on B. So I'm going to show that there's a choice of C and a choice of B to make this happen. Right. And those depend on this tau. Oh, this tau, yes. Okay. Thank you.
Um, so let's let's visualize this. So this will be so a picture mod Q. So this will be a correlation between uh, residue class B and a residue and the rest of classes in some interval of less of less q. Right? So this is c and c minus q plus one. Okay. So this, this. and you are going to take all these correlations and sum them up here. So what we can do is the following. If we take all such correlations because we have the freedom of moving B and C, we can take all these configurations, mod Q, but we also take all these configurations, mod Q minus one. And this is, so this is all C mod Q, and this is C prime mod Q minus one. And this will be the, the sum of this will exactly be just a correlation, this correlation. This is E of J over J of uh, A of QJ plus uh, B and A QJ plus B. It's, it's right. so, anyway, so it's maybe, yeah, maybe I, it's not a little bit too right. But uh, this, this will be the correlation between a point with itself. And that's, uh, that's one. And how many? So there are, here there are Q different A, B, C's. And here there are Q minus one such terms. So one of these is greater than or equal to one over two Q minus one. So at least one correlation. That is greater than equal to one over two Q minus one. Uh, two Q minus yeah, yes, and actually two Q K minus one, and uh, and we can we will require this to be greater than equal to tau of Q K plus one over. Because I'm counting the correlation up to up to that that level, so so this is this is the proof. <coughs> it's, it's purely elementary, and just uh, before finishing, let me remark a few things. Uh, so th there are a few uh, defects there, but that you can already see that I, I did not actually use only one system. I used a modulus Q and a modulus Q minus one. So I should, should require two, uh, two, two different uh, pairs of, of uh, sequences of dependent approximates. So here we should we used either mod Q, K, or mod Q, K. Minus one. This is number one. Second, the correlation is only, so remember these tens, and we only counted the correlation here. But so, in, in this, under this assumption that uh, we assume that a and is also minus one or one, it is okay, but for, for general sequences, we do need. Uh, such intervals to cover the entire uh, the entire line. So maybe we need two pairs of such sequences to to do to to, to cover instead of just uh, need all these upper parts. So so the the, the increasing parts of tens to cover. Yeah. 
two different cube trace. So here we should have two different choices. Here we should have two different choices. Okay. Therefore, the system will be two times two equals four x times y uh, put together. So it will be a system of the form x to the one times x to the two times x to the three times x to the four times a finite switch allowing you to know that which one of the four you are using but uh, but that's that, that's it and uh, that's it for the for the regular average for logarithmic average some some minor changes are needed to make these pens shorter but still cover the the, the whole into all right that's uh, okay i will stop here thank you very much Thank you very much. Uh, so in your theorem, can you make also the complexity of your system to grow arbitrary slowly? Complexity of the system? I mean, it's sub-exponential, of course, which is zero to Oh, slowly. that's a good question. Can you um, grow arbitrarily slowly? I, I, I think yes. I think yes. Okay. Because that, that's part of it, right? That's that. Uh, in this <coughs> question, your theorem is uh, long and here. Mm -hmm. uh, how wide is the class of system? Oh. So besides rotation, then I'm thinking what would be the, an example? So oh, for system thought, for in your theorem was long uh, and oh yeah oh uh, besides the rotation so. Uh, this uh, screw yeah, part, so yeah, this is screw, uh, screw part. Know, say, infinity, yeah, so infinity, yeah, that's infinity, that's, that's, yes, that's, 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 uh, yeah, that's more of the corollaries. Any more questions? <coughs> so, if not, so let's thank Jeremy again. Thank you.